So if you've ever wanted to know what these stripes are on these sleeves of the uniforms for, this is the old class A uniform, but you know, regardless, the army uniform, the blues, the army service uniform, stick around, let me explain that. Hey, what's up my friends? Welcome to an all new video. U.S. Army veteran Christopher Chaos, and today, kind of explaining just a simple kind of video of what do those stripes mean on the sleeves of the Army uniform? You've probably seen them on soldiers where they have it on the left sleeve or the right sleeve, and some of you, of course, probably know what the heck they are, but some of you don't, and that's probably the intention of this video. It's a pretty simple answer, and for those of you that want a little bit more, then obviously you should stick around for more of the video to get a little bit more explanation, but the simple, the quick and easy way, if you just wanna get out of this video and move on with your life, is that on the left sleeve is for how many years you've served in the Army, each representing three years. The other side represents six months in a combat zone. For those of you that like a little bit more details and a little bit more explanation of that, let's, let's do that. Let's explain a little bit more in depth with this thing. Oh, this light is really bright, huh? So I have, obviously, my old school uniform right back there, right? That's the old class A uniform. I even have actually blues because as I was getting out of the army, they actually, you know, started kind of moving to the blues, but I had the blues prior to that. In fact, my blues are still hanging up here in the laundry room, collecting dust and everything right here. These are actually the plant pants of the class A uniform, but right here filled with dust and tangled up in a damn hanger. Is my dress blue jacket with just no awards or anything really on it or anything because I've stripped the awards to put on the class A uniform. This thing has been hanging up in this laundry room for like ever, but they still would have had the service stripes. Um, not really represented, I don't think, in, in this one though. But either way, they still have service stripes for the dress blues as well as the old school greens and all that kind of stuff. Now it's just simply the Army Service Uniform or the ASU, so they just kind of simply call it that now. So, I mean, diving a little bit more into it, right? Okay, like I said, you have, the on the left-hand sleeve, you have one stripe for every three years. So, every three-year anniversary, you're technically allowed to go and add another stripe, regardless if you got a, a Article 15 or got in trouble or whatever. That is a little bit different than the Good Conduct Medal because typically they go together. You get like a service stripe with the Army Good Conduct Medal, but if you received an Article 15, got in some trouble, then you don't qualify for a Good Conduct Medal, but you do still qualify for the service stripe for the three years. Now, it can be a little bit different. So like if, for my example, right, I have three of them, meaning for nine years, even though I did 10 and a half years, but you're only authorized one stripe for every three years. So that represents the nine years, three bars, that I was actually in the Army. If, for whatever reason, huge if, actually impossible if, if I were to ever go back into the army because I did, it was like 10 and a half years in the army, then I was kind of like a year and a half into earning my next stripe. So if I came back in the army, let's say tomorrow, not gonna happen, but if I did, then I would do a year and a half and I would be authorized to add a fourth little service stripe to my uniform. Also, the reason why that's not gonna happen to me going back in the army isn't because I don't qualify to go back in the army. I do still qualify to go back in the army if I wanted to, but I don't want to. I enjoy having the beard, I enjoy being a civilian, I enjoy having my civilian job, so it's not gonna happen. So those can continue to rack up. You can add a bunch of service stripes for the longer you know, you're know you in the army for and everything like that. Uh, also kind of be aware that it actually works a little bit differently for other branches of the service. The army, it represents three years, whereas like the Marines and the Navy, that re represents four years. Even in the police force, they actually use this as well. They actually go, I think in the Los Angeles Police Department in California, they have service stripes for every five years that you serve in the police department. Now someone could continue like to rack this thing up, right, and add more, as long as it doesn't cover up the rank. That is kind of the criteria, is that it can't cover up the chevrons, can't cover up your rank and everything. So you could continue to rack up multiple ones, but it does get to a point where after 10, which would be 30 years in the United States Army, that it's kind of like, not really required that you continue to add the service stripes. So after adding 10 of them, so you've been in the army for 10, or not 10 years, for 30 years, then it's up to you if you really want to keep on adding stripes at that point. And yeah, that is a possible thing that someone could be in the army for 30 years because it doesn't really matter how many years you're in it, more goes off your age. I think it's after like the age of like 64 or something like that, then you can't stay in the army. So then let's move to the other sleeve, which they call the overseas service bars. Some people call it the combat stripes. You're, I don't know what else you can kind of call them. I, I kind of think of them as like the combat stripes because essentially in order to get them, you have to have been in a combat zone for at least six months for one bar anyways. So they rack up, right? If you were in a combat zone for one year, then you get two of those little bars. 
they don't necessarily have to be consecutive for certain campaigns. Like if you were in the Iraq war and let's say you went over there for three months and then came back to the United States and then later in your army career went back to Iraq during the Iraq war for another three month tour kind of a thing for whatever reason, then you're authorized to add one of those bars because now you've kind of totaled up a total of six months. On my uniform, I should have four, right? Let's see. It's a little, little bit hidden behind the TV, but yeah, there you go. Four, and you'll notice these ones are a little bit shorter than those guys are, right? Those ones are longer, these ones are like shorter ones, but yeah, I got four because of, you know, two years. Now, essentially, because my second tour was a 15 month tour, if, well, I guess the Iraq war is kind of over now, I think, I don't know if it kind of counts anymore, but technically if I were to go back during the Iraq war, then I could have, you know, racked up for another kind of little ribbon because of the extra time I added on to it. In fact, I think we look at my little unclassified DD-214 here, Right here is my little fancy DD-214 that I've, you know, blacked out all the classified information, of course. So obviously you can't see it in here. I mean, it kind of has like, it doesn't really say how much time was in a combat zone, at least I don't, not that I remember anyways I can find, but there is a block for foreign service. It has four years, one month, and 23 days. Part of that, it was just being a station in Korea and stuff like that, but I did a one year tour in Iraq and then a 15 month tour in Iraq. I don't think it was exactly one year and exactly 15 months, but nonetheless, just to make it easier, that 15 month one, right? That acts an extra three months. So if I were to go back to Iraq for three more months, then I would have been qualified technically for another little bar in there if it really added up. But let's not get into the actual math because actual math, I probably would have needed a little bit more because we didn't spend exactly 12 months and exactly 15 months on either of those tours. So whatever the case would be, I could still rack up to another bar had I spent X amount more months in Iraq going back a, a third time. Also, it's not specific to the campaign itself. So even if I had gone to Afghanistan for three months, that still would have counted. And that would have qualified me to add another little overseas bar or the combat stripe. I think the army is the only one that does this too. I don't believe any other service branches actually have these little combat stripes in there. I mean, maybe other branches let me know down in the comment section, but I think the army is the only one that actually does that with the little overseas service stripes to represent how many months you were in a combat zone for. So there you go, hopefully you enjoyed that little bit of information. Hit that thumbs up if you did. Check out these other videos right over here. They're pretty awesome. Links down in the description to join the Discord, to follow me on Instagram, all that fun stuff. I'm Christopher Chaos, and I'll see you next time. See ya.